Hello guys, it's Jesus from Low Code Agency and today I want to show you or I'm making this tutorial on how to set up notifications. Uh, it's a recurring issue that you want to send notifications when you have some app or you have service providers and customers and maybe they are interacting with each other inside of the app or you set up messages so they can send each other messages in the app but you want both parties to receive a either a text notification in their phones or an email when something happens inside of the app. And since we don't have native notifications right now for Glide apps, then using Zapier, there is a pretty straightforward and easy way to set up your notifications. So that either you as owner of the app or your users like service providers, customers, whatever, will be able to get an email every time something happens inside of the app. So let's jump right in. What you need is your Glide app, your Google Sheet, and either a Zapier account, which is the easiest, or an Integromat account. So what we are looking at right now is at the Uber-like template uh, that we built. So in this case, we have two types of users, either let me show you quick here. We have either drivers or users, right? So right now I am logged in as a user. And then I'm looking at available drivers here. So when I click on this driver, I see their profile picture, their car type, their car color, and I can request a service. And what that does is we have a form here on the right side uh, with a bunch of information and what that does is it creates a new row in our spreadsheet, in our right tab, okay? So if we look at this tab, at the right tab, we have the comments here, so pick me up, whatever. Then we have the location of the driver. We have a unique ID, we have a timestamp. Then we have a created by email. Uh, and we also have the driver's email, right? Because we want to link those two users. So in this case, um, let me be somebody else. I'm a driver as well, so let's choose somebody who is a user. Now we can have this user. Uh, so here we go, preview as, okay. So now I am a user, and then I look at drivers that are available right now, and I found this Robert guy, right? So then I request a service, and then we create a form. So in this form, we have several components. We have a comments component, we have a location component, so when that service goes through, the driver knows where he or she has to pick up the user. And then we have a bunch of columns here. We're bringing over to the forms tab the driver emails, emails, and uh, timestamp, a unique ID, and then a created by, which is my email as a user, um, and then a couple of other columns. So if I remember correctly, this guy was Robert. Okay, so let's say Robert um, at the corner of this location and then I'm sharing my current location and then I click submit. So on the back end on our data editor or uh, in our Google Sheet we created just this row. Okay, So now we have to go and set up our Zap. So what we want to do is we want to connect since we are doing email notifications right now we want to connect our Google Sheet to a emailing tool. So Google Sheets here to we can choose either yeah let's choose Gmail. Here we go. And then what is the trigger? When this happens then do this. So when something happens in your Google Sheet then we want to send an email, right? So the trigger is when there is a new row. So we'll look for that new or updated spreadsheet row, then send an email. So when there is a new row, because every time 
here in our client app, every time a user asks for a service from one of the drivers, it creates a row in our Google Sheet, right? So that's the, the trigger. And then what we want to do is send an email. So then we use this Zap. You have to create a Zapier free account for this. So first thing is when we have a new or updated spreadsheet row in our Google Sheet. So now we have to tell Zapier which Google Sheet we're talking about. So first you have to connect your Gmail or Google Drive account to Zapier. And then I'm going to look for the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet's name is Uberish. So here we have it. And then I want to tell Zapier on which tab of my Google Sheet it should look for that new row. And the worksheet is the rights tab, right? The rights tab here. This tab in my Google Sheet is where Zapier will be looking for new rows. And then the trigger, yeah, any column is fine. Trigger column, yeah, it doesn't really matter because all of them are updated. But let's choose, let's not choose the comments because maybe they might not share something, but we have always somebody's emails. Now Zapier wants to test the trigger, so it brings over in this case, the sixth row, which is the one we just created, right? So we are looking here at the column A all the way to column J. Same thing we are looking at here, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, right? So uh, Zapier is looking at this and it's bringing over so we can play around with this information in our email. Okay, so since that is working, then we will, we will connect our already have, we already chose our Gmail account, and then the action will be to send an email. So I'll use my personal account to send those emails. So you'll probably have to set up that as well. Connect your Gmail account or your Hotmail, Yahoo, whatever account. And then we'll customize the email. So who do we want to send that email to? We want to send that email to the driver in this case, right? Because the user is requesting a, a service. And unless that driver is already logged into the app and looking or refreshing the app to see who has requested for their service, since we're going to assume that the driver is not checking the app all the time, we want to send them an email or a text. Reminder that we'll go over that later. We want to send them right now an email to the driver that there's a new service request. So the two... I mean, we'll, we'll, that, that email will go to the column email driver, right? So every time we have a new row, a new row here, the email will go to this value, to the value we have on the email driver column. That way you don't have to set multiple zaps. You just set one zap pointing to the right column. So in this case, we want to send an email to this guy, to the driver, right? So we choose the value from our spreadsheet, which is email driver. Then you can like CC or BCC somebody else, maybe yourself, if you want to know who is emailing or how is it working on the back end. And then from your own email account, you can either choose your name or not. You can add a reply to. So maybe in this case, we want the um, driver in case he, re he or she replies back. Maybe we want them to reply to the user. So the user is the created by column. So if that driver answers that email, that email will go back to the user. Then for subject, so with Zapier, we can use two things, either text. So hello here. Or we can choose any of those values from that row we're looking at. So let's say uh, driver, you have a new service. 
and then on the body we'll say hey there someone requested the service from you and then we can tell them location so we'll use the user's location which in this case is the latitude and the longitude the coordinates we can also let them know the comments so message from from customer and then we'll add uh, the um, comments column we can also share the timestamp requested at timestamp and for more information open your app and then we're going to add the link which is uberish.glideapp.io so now we have the body of our mess of our email so this value will be specific for every new row right then we can either choose a signature or not or an attachment whatever it doesn't matter for this case so now we do a test and continue so a test email was sent to gmail just now in this case it doesn't matter because we don't have that email but now let's let me sign in so that I will get an email right so let's look at our user profiles tab so we have okay so my own personal email has mm, yeah so let's change actually this way since I already have this Agency. Here we go. So if I log in as this user and this user is a driver. So the first thing I have to do here is update my location so that I can pick someone up. So I'm available. Available now. And don't worry about what's going on here. The only thing that I'm doing is, uh, in this case, allowing users to be able to book this driver so that we'll get a test email and now I will log in as any other user so let's choose um, user number one so George is a user so he looks at his right step and he's looking at these two drivers we have okay so i want to contact this guy because this guy is my other email right so i want to request a service from jesus so jesus notifications work now and then i click i share my current location with him and i click submit so on the back end in our Google Sheet and our data editor, what we created is a new row. Now, this zap is already on. So let's see if we got that email. Let me refresh this. And here we go. So Look at, I mean, don't worry about this because this is the dummy email from the user, right? So I am getting an email as if I was the driver. Hey there, someone requested. So driver, you have a new service. Remember, we added that to the subject of our email. Location, so you can add this. I mean, in this case, you can add this, this text to your Google Maps and then it'll show up where the user is. And then we have a message from the customer. Hey, I am this corner. I am at this location. For more information open up your app so that's a very easy way to set up your notifications in your app and you can use them for pretty much anything every time you create a new row you can set up notifications the important thing for that is to bring over to that form that you are creating every time someone clicks this button it's creating a form 
and you are bringing over so in this case I'm looking at his profile as a driver right so when I request a service from him I am bringing over the column that has this driver's email and I am also adding a special value which is the email of the user requesting that the service from this driver so that's really important because now you have both values in your tab you have the customers and you have the service providers and this is the way we set up all um, apps and templates when we have either one-on-one -on -one chats or these kind of forms where you want users to interact between each other either in the app or in this case I mean I get asked a lot why am I always using the created by the, the either I mean both the timestamp the unique ID and the special value which is the user's email because now we can do these cool things we can get notifications now the other thing that you could do is instead of when there's a new row send an email you could also instead of this second step being email you could send a text notification for that you would do exactly the same thing but instead of bringing over or on top of bringing over the driver's email you would also bring over into a new column his or her phone now for that you would use a tool called Twilio SMS or SMS by Zapier or Twilio right so Twilio it's pretty much as straightforward as, um, as an email so we have just a couple options you connect your Twilio account I have already done that then send SMS and then the only thing you'll do there we go, is point your zap so from number I already have a number and you have to set that up when you create your Twilio account and then the two number will be the column where you bring over using a column component like as a special value where you bring over the driver's phone or the user's phone and then the message again same thing with email you can add uh, whatever components whatever columns from that row from that new row so whatever I just sent by email you could also be able to send this as a text and then send large message so you'll mark this as yes in case it goes over the character limits and that's it so you can do this by email or by text as easy as that using Zapier so I hope this works for you if you have questions you can let me know uh, thanks for watching